You're sure? Without a shadow of a doubt, my raindrop. <laughs> Ironic coming from you. I swear to you both on my life what I've heard and seen. The Hatted One is closing in on your key, and Darien has fallen. <sighs> fallen to Vitic Fire's storm. I saw, I searched, there is no sign of him. Only his... Only his gem remains. Then the prophecy is nearing fruition. Only one verse remains. Oh, huzzah and hooray. Need I remind you of our arrangement? No key, no panda, no prophecy. And the fox in the fedora has only 24 hours left to find it. He will! He's close. I know it. You know nothing, cheese breath. Need I remind you that we have another obligation to fill if we want to get back to our world? We'll make sure you get what you want. Good. Because if I don't... Dinner is served. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Hello, this is the Soviet Skyship speaking, because there is no way in hell I'm calling it Man Cheeks Machine. The heat signature we picked up in this cave wasn't man-made or magical. Just a bunch of... Hey, what were you calling, you Sunday flyers? Where'd you want to fly anyway, a wind tunnel? Stop it, Bats. <sighs> All right, stay safe and we'll see you both when you get back. Over. That was the last section. Wh what? No, no, it, it, it can't be. Th there's got to be some place else we haven't scanned or, or, or searched. Fox, we've got over 100 charts, high-def imaging, thermal scans. We've mapped the whole bloody forest. Great. We've got less than 24 hours until Zara's deadline, and full power or not, she's going to let her transformed creatures loose on a trivium buffet in my name. Huh. <sighs> What if we searched further north? No. If she didn't hide the key here, she could have gone any direction from the Timberlands. We'd have to start scanning the entire continent just to be sure. And even with all this fancy tech, that could take weeks. Maybe Zara could give us an extension? Uh, if I was half as good a treasure hunter as my grandma, I'd have figured this out by now. Dude, it's not a matter of skill. Your grandma didn't want anyone to find this thing and she made sure of it. Even so, I should be able to know her methods by now. Instead, a whole world's counting on me and I'm totally lost. So much for living up to expectations. Hey, who here found something that the Acer gods didn't even know about? I believe they're the only one wearing a beat up snazzy looking hat. I don't know, man. This time I might be up the creek without a paddle. And there's no boat either. Heck, there's no creek. Well, this ain't over yet. We're still on the clock. We've still got time. You've still got time. I get this is personal for you with your grandma and everything. Believe me, I've been there. But if you turn to jelly on us now, what hope does anyone have? You took on the Nine Tail Syndicate. You got everyone out of danger back in Asgard. Yeah, and I caused that. All of it. And from what Andy told me, you jumped on a giant friggin' wolf to give everyone time to run. Fox, we'll back your play, but if you want to give up because Granny and the Fedora didn't make it easy... <laughs> I thought you were done with noble statements. I said don't get used to it. I had a spare. <sighs> I just don't know where else to look or where to go next. No clues, no hints, no treasure map, no X marks to spot, no nothing. We've been over these charts hundreds of times now, and I can't find... What? Was this house always on this chart? Uh, I think so. Why? You told us to look for caves. Oh my god. Change course! Go to these coordinates now! Wanna tell me why? I recognize that house.
It's just a house. <laughs> looks like some old hunting cabin. Maybe, but it also looks almost exactly like my grandma's house. The same one I grew up in. Uh, how? I, I don't know. Maybe it's some kind of illusion. Could be one of Zara's tricks. Hmm. No, impossible. The ship sensor would have seen through it if it wasn't really here. We're about to find out. First, the old hat trick. Nope, not a Zara trick. Still might be some kind of magic, bow. You said your genie only gets rid of other genie magic, right? There's only one way to know for certain. It's open. Doesn't look like anyone's been here for decades. Fox? It's practically identical. In there. That's where my bedroom was. And that would make... That would make that the living room and the dining room. And... And that would make this... This would be the kitchen. Man, she always made the best chocolate chip cookies. And don't get me started on the homemade applesauce. We had an apple tree right out... Uh, hate to interrupt the trip down memory lane, but we still don't know what the deal is with this place. Hey, there's something engraved on this wall over here. J.C. Penny? No. Jean Corrigan. So, she was here. If this is her, do you think she might have hidden the key here? Maybe. But this place still has to pass one more test. If everything is the same as it was in my childhood home, then there should be a hidden panel in the furthest back wall of the room that would be my grandma's office. It's also how I discovered the fox den. The house used to be on the cliff above it. She was so mad when I found it. In here. Here we go. <laughs> it's a bit stuck. I got you. On three. One, two, three. <laughs> there it is. That's the tunnel leading to the fox den? Well, it would if we were back on our world. But here, who knows? All right, I think we're just about ready to descend into whatever hellish nightmare void awaits us. What you got? Uh, spelunking gear, provisions just in case, first aid, flashlights, flares, plasma knife, paper clips, the big ones. <laughs> and all the good stuff. Yeah, standard plasma pistol, automatic plasma pistol, advanced plasma pistol, this really big plasma pistol called the Equalizer. I like that one. The gun of eternal justice. The gun of what? It's got rapid fire homing projectiles. Three sets of plasma pistols. Me croak and choke, crack and smack, and bada and boom. And last, but certainly not least, a handheld laser cannon I like to call early retirement. <laughs> Let's not forget a few high tech explosives. Do we really need all this? Do you want to die? We've been here, what, a week? And how many times has this place tried to kill us? Okay, point taken. But I'm not carrying all that. Eh, no prob. Wittick's got it. What? You want Ariana to come with? You remember the last time we went gallivanting into an underground passage in a random cabin? I don't think we'll be running into any more ice cream monsters, but I think it'd be best if she stayed with you. We don't want Crash finding some way to escape, or the Elemental Lord sneaking up on us again. Especially now that I got my flame thingy back. Dude, why don't you just get rid of that thing? I tried, remember? No, I mean, like, get rid of it. Clearly, those Lord guys need both you and it, so why don't you destroy it or... It can't be destroyed, trust me. And I keep it around for defense. Right. 
Are you sure you don't want to take a weapon yourself, Fox? I would gladly spare my bow and quiver. Thanks, but like I said yesterday, I'm no good with weapons. Trust me. Five finger discounts and beat feet all the way. That's me. Did you ever try? Yeah, a few times, but... What happened? <sighs> Not getting out of this one, am I? Okay. I was 10 years old. I hit a tire on a passing neighbor's car with an arrow. And I was kind of aiming for my grandma's barn. Here. No, I, I can't. Okay, thanks. Um, what am I doing with this now? That tree there. Hit it. Yeah, no. I believe you're a better shot than you think. <sighs> okay, but I'd take cover if I were you. <clears throat> there, you see? No good. Can't even hit that. That's because you didn't take your time with it. Here. Pull back. Don't let go yet. Remember, this is a skill that comes with practice, patience, and time. Line up your target. Okay. You got it? Yeah, yeah. Control your breathing. Ease in and out. Ease in and out. And when you're ready, hold your breath and let it go. Sorry, Gary. How did you even hit me? I'm behind you. There. You see? This is why I stick to what I know I'm good at. But you're a fox. So? Aren't all fox people good at being arches? I mean, you missed the tree, sure. But you got me. Somehow. Gary, you're thinking of a cartoon from your universe. And that's not historical in your world? <sighs> Don't worry, I'll make sure nothing happens to him. Whoa, wait a minute. Nothing happens to me? I'm sorry, but who saved whom? I saved you first, if I remember. Uh-huh. And if you hadn't done that, you'd be street pizza right now. And if I hadn't saved you, you'd be hanging on Crash's wall. Hey, I would have gotten out of there eventually. Oh, really? Yeah. Exactly what was your brilliant escape plan? Well, it's, uh, it's, it's a secret. Yeah, a big secret that only Fox and I know. Right, Fox? Hey, you two. Let's move. We're losing daylight. We're gonna be in a cave. Ow! Bye, Gary. No, wait. Back me up on this one. Fox! Fox! What? You haven't committed our big secret escape plan to memory? I'm shocked. <laughs> Best of luck in your search below. Yeah, and try not to die. Hey, how many caverns, tombs, and temples have we survived? The answer is 32. Yeah, well, there's always a first. <clears throat> this tunnel was not made for pandas. Hang on. I think... I... I think the tunnel's opening up. Whoa. Guys, check it out. What the heck? Whoa, suddenly ancient temple. These stone pillars look hundreds or thousands of years old, maybe more. And why is your grandma's copycat house sitting on top of it? Let's keep looking. Maybe we'll find out. Whoa, hey, we got writing over here. Hieroglyphs. Looks like crude drawings of farming? Hunting, maybe? I think these are drawings of animals. What's this supposed to be? The sun? Why is it painted green? I think... I think that might be the Twilight Advent. Looks like they're worshipping it in return. You sure about that? What about this guy? He's worshipping it, but he's bones. All right, yeah, that's not freaky or anything. Hmm. Okay, wild thought. Maybe my grandma found this place when she was traveling. 
trying to do research on the Advent's history to make the key. So she built a copy of her house on top of an ancient temple. That's a lot of extra work. I know. It doesn't make any sense, but we need to keep looking. Keep an eye out for traps, pressure plates, the usual. Right. Whittick, are you... Whittick? Whittick? Where is he? Whittick! Oh, no. You check that way. I'll go this way. Watch your step. I know. I know. <sighs> Whittick! That wasn't Whittick. But that was... Fox! Whittick! Fox! What? That! Run, run! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Hey! hey. Over here! Soviet! Big! Ugly! There! Mummy! What? Whittick found his mummy. And there it is. It's immune to fire attacks and explosions! But is it immune to these? That's it. Come get Daddy's belt. Why didn't that work? Why didn't that work? That should have worked. This always works. It's immune to fire and explosions! I heard you the first time. Behind me, big door. Wait! Why? Hey, what are you doing? Might have borrowed these explosives, thanks. What are you doing? Safety's this way. We gotta stop it from following us. It's immune to fire! I know! Yo, toilet paper face! That's right, come over here. Come on, King Tut, that's it. Just a bit closer. <laughs> Fox! Oh. Uh. You good? Yeah. You didn't tell me those explosives were that powerful. You didn't ask. Yeah. What was that thing? I don't know. A cursed being? A temple guardian? Your guess is as good as mine. Come on. You gotta see this next room. Why? What's in it? More carves down. Something about these is different than the ones out there. Hmm. What'd you find? I think these glyphs are a complete ancient history of Trivium and its beginnings. You got all of that from just this little tiny part of it? The room's covered in them. It's just a guess, but look. See this bit right here? Looks like a bunch of people coming out of that big green sun. What could be the Twilight Advent? So Trivium was created by the Twilight Advent. The entire multiverse was. And at least that's what Alistair and Zara believe. And I guess the Emperor as well. And my grandma. Who's this lone guy holding the Advent? Their god? I don't think so. I don't think they have a god or gods except for the advent. Could have been a priest, holy man, prophet. We got more dead guys on this one. Over here. It looks like they tried to get close to the advent and it uh, didn't like them. I swear, if we find this thing and a bunch of ghosts come out and melt my face, I'm going to be so mad at you guys. Okay, even more wild theory incoming. What if this is where the Twilight Advent was originally kept? I guess that explained the big mummy outside and how hidden this place is. And I remember Alistair saying that the people of Trivium waged war over the Twilight Advent for years. It must have been removed from here a long time ago by the ancients when things got dicey. And my grandma followed the old legends to try and find out more about it. Fox, 
there's something on the stone altar. There in the center of the room. I'll check it out. Careful. I know, I know. I'm watching my step. Guys? What's over there? Another clue? I think we found something way bigger than another clue. I, I think... I think this is it. Guys! I think we found the key! What? Seriously? <laughs> nah, nah. The, the, key, the key to literally giving someone control over all reality cannot be sitting out in the open on a stone table guarded by one mummy. There's gotta be more to this. Yeah, I know. That's what's bothering me, too. Especially given how protected my grandma made the fox den back at home. Why would she just leave it here? Maybe she didn't have enough time. Had to improvise a hiding spot. We can figure this all out later. We still gotta find another way out of here. <laughs> easy, easy. That wall just opened up. Trap? Or another way for whoever built this place to get past the Guardian Mummy. Okay. I'll head up first, just in case. <laughs> all clear. No wonder we didn't see anything above ground. The exit's literally a crack in the rock wall. Again, this tunnel wasn't made for pandas. Hey, where'd you guys come from? Long story. Big temple underground. Did you find anything down there? Oh, you know, this and that giant monster. The key to the Twilight Advent. Wait, 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 wait. It is, is that it? Is that the thing is? At least that's my guess, since we don't exactly know what it looks like. I think my grandma hid it here, using what she could learn from the ancients of Trivium and what they left behind. But then what's with the fake out farmhouse? Yeah, I've been thinking about that. She probably used it as both a base camp and a landmark in case she ever needed to come back for the key in an emergency. How long was she here for? You said she came here alone. In these conditions and by herself, it would have taken a year or more to build this on top of navigating that temple. I can't explain all of it, and I may never be able to. But the house is the perfect marker, something she'd recognize in case she needed to find her way back here, but just inconspicuous enough for others not to take a closer look. What was wrong with a map? Too risky. If someone got a hold of it, they'd be able to follow it right to the key. But now that we've got it, time to use it. Hey! I have a much better idea. <laughs> what if I take it from you all and give it to Zara for my raindrop? <laughs> Mala! Wait! Why didn't your flame thingy make a noise? <laughs> Predictable fools. <laughs> I left my gemstone far enough away, <laughs> knowing where you were. <laughs> Light him up. It is over, Vidic. <laughs> You've lost. <laughs> uh, blood darts! Your abilities will not work on me, <laughs> but my shadows can send them back to you. <laughs> Sorry, Gary! <laughs> you thought I was the weakest of all the lords, didn't you? <laughs> I outsmarted you! I outsmarted you all! <laughs> He's running! I got him! I got him! I don't got him. <laughs> Zara will have the multiverse. We will have our world. And the Nine Tails shall achieve victory over you uh, with your stupid, stupid hat. Hey, 
I make this look good. What's your excuse? No. Where do you think you're going, Batman? <laughs> you dragon and these pathetic mortal arrow weapons will not stop me. Hey, come back here! We can't let him get away! Fox, hop on! Come on! Guys, let's go! We'll be right behind. Go! Get him! I'll bet the farm he's going straight for the palace. Quick! To the airship! Never mind! Get back! Get back! Whoa! Soviet! What was that? He left a trap. He shed us toward the ship's turbines out. Uh, I'll get the tool chest. He destroyed that too. God damn it! Faster, Gary! I'm going as fast as I can here. It's not easy dodging all these giant trees, you know. Eyes on the road. Hey, I don't need any backseat. Tree! Ah! Ah! <laughs> uh, close one. Ah. Eyes on the road. Okay, okay. Sheesh. He just keeps teleporting ahead when we get close. He's headed forevermore. If he gets there first, the key's as good as Zara's! Steady your flight! Huh? I can get him from here. You sure? You only got one shot. Watch me. He's almost there! I've got him. We're running out of time! No, we're not. Ariana! Just a little more. <laughs> nice shot! Oh, my leg! Oh, you shot me in my leg! Get the key! I've got him! Right! <laughs> For me? You shouldn't have. No! Oh, too slow. Hard. And you found the key with minutes to spare. Top notch, Pip Pip Gov. Monster! Um, excuse you? I was talking. You'll pay me block today, Demoness. Um, first correction demons are like a whole other thing. Secondly, a sword. Really? Ah! Ariana, don't! Why don't you all stick around for a spell? The real fun's about to begin. God damn it! Bad news. Airship won't even start. Those shadow tendrils did a number on the central computer system, too. We gotta catch up with them. We still have our anti-genie pins. They're going to need our help. We'd get there three days from now on foot. <sighs> I know. Could really use some backup about now. Wait. What's that? Horses. Maybe they can give us a... What? <laughs> Soviet, it's Andy! When did... how did... what? Uh. I'll explain later. Right now, we've got a quest to finish. And I brought some friends to help out. Looks like you two could use a ride. And maybe a posse or two. Sheriff? And a few others. It ain't much. But I'd say we're enough to put one hell of a cloud over Zara's parade. Eat much? You brought an army! 
from Shark to Bay, Greenboro, Rotherham. Wait a minute. How did you know where we were? Or that we needed help. You'll need to ask him. Riddick? So be it. Uh, who are you? He's the one that brung your friend out of this sweet tooth spell. And brought us all together. He can teleport. What's with the mask? There'll be time to explain things after this is over. How about we explain things now? Oh, sure. We'll just stop here and have a little picnic while Sara tears apart the multiverse. You want to stop her, don't you? Saddle up. Please? All right. We're in. Let's go get him. Visit www.patreon.com slash Fox and the Fedora if you want to help support the show and all our amazing actors and production crew. Just $5 a month gets you a shout out in the credits. The Adventures of the Fox and the Fedora is made possible by our backers on Patreon and listeners like you. Visit www.foxandthefedora.com for more info on the show and links to the merch store and more.